When Thomas Edison filed his patent for the phonograph, his application was approved in just seven weeks. These days, that process is taking an average of three years. Now, these are jobs and businesses of the future just waiting to be created. So that's why I asked Congress to send me a bill that reforms the outdated patent process, a bill that cuts away the red tape, that slows down our inventors and entrepreneurs. And today, I'm happy to have the opportunity to finally sign that bill. This country has a rich legacy, a rich heritage of being innovators, of coming up with amazing technologies that change people's lives and make life better for everybody. This legislation today, by signing it into law, will help bring both speed and certainty to the patent system. It will allow inventors and entrepreneurs and businesses to have greater likelihood that their patent will issue, that that patent will issue sooner, and all the incentive to go out there and create jobs to get their products to market. I think the extent to which your idea is protected now in this new act and the extent to which things move much faster, you know that the light, you can, the light at the end of the tunnel isn't that far away, uh, and it makes sense to start to invest and convince other people to invest um, and do more work based here in the United States where that protection is at its strongest. We have to do everything we can to encourage the entrepreneurial spirit wherever we find it. We should be helping American companies compete and sell their products all over the world. We should be making it easier and faster to turn new ideas into new jobs and new businesses. We should knock down any barriers that stand in the way. Because if we're going to create jobs now and in the future, we're going to have to outbuild and out-educate and out-innovate every other country on Earth. Bills like this that streamline this process, even bills like what President Obama is trying to do with the jobs, like trying to get more people to hire people here and do things more here, it really is going to be what takes us to that next level and brings America back to what we all know it can be. We have always succeeded because we have been the most dynamic, innovative economy in the world. That has to be encouraged. That has to be continued.